Sorry guys, um, had to answer a phone call that came through, so I apologize. But the other part of the book is more of the modern day part, and it centers around an American woman named Julia. And Julia has lived um, a good deal of her life there in Paris. She is a journalist, so she works for like, um, like a newspaper magazine publication, and um, she's married to a French man, and they have a teenage daughter, okay? And so she's kind of an American living there in Paris, but she's pretty integrated into their society. Well, um, she and her husband and daughter are renovating. They're doing major renovations on an apartment that's been owned by um, his grandparents. So it's been in his family for many years. And they're renovating and then they're planning on moving in there, okay? And it's down um, in Paris. And what happens is basically she gets this uh, story to do that has to do with the anniversary of this roundup there in France. But also, um, it what it does is it kind of leads her on a quest, and she uncovers some information about this apartment that they are supposed to be moving in, okay? And, of course, it ties them to Sarah's family, the other story, which is from the 1940s. And so it's interesting. Uh, it's a really interesting piece of history. It tells you the modern-day stuff, but it also shows you what happened back during the wartime. Um Kind of kind of a mystery, but it's really wonderful. Um, keep your Kleenex handy. It's For me, it's probably the saddest movie that I show. Um, it gets me every single time. So shortly, I am going to film a segment of it, probably, like I said, about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes of it. I will post that on here, and then tomorrow I will post the rest of the movie, okay? And I'm going to be um, kind of wrapping up the World War II in France on Friday with a little writing for you guys to do and some artwork for you to see, okay? So, talk to you later.